What's up my boutique bosses? Um, I'm doing my video in my car today. Um, I don't really know why, I just figured that it's a change of scenery. I'm actually on my way to work and I just wanted to talk really quick about the Las Vegas market which is magic. Um, so while I was there, which was um, last week, I did film a little bit which I'm going to put in this video but I honestly was really bad at vlogging it and I was like, I'm gonna do like such a good vlog but the reason why was because because we honestly needed to buy so much for the spring and summer and I was a little bit stressed out while I was there um, so I was really really focusing on actually like doing my buying and just doing some of the behind the scenes some uh, stuff there sometimes is a little bit tricky because you're trying to do like 50 things at once and it's also so fun so you're also trying to like soak up the good times and like the fun there but I'm just gonna talk about market in general um, and then a little bit about magic which is the one that happens in Las Vegas every February and um, August uh, if you want specifics about other markets next time I go there I will definitely make videos um, I actually had a TikTok go viral about this topic um, when I went to the Dallas market so if you want um, a little bit behind the scenes about Dallas market you can check out my TikTok. Um, but I am going to show you guys some footage of magic and then also just talk about um, how market works in general and also about the Las Vegas market itself okay so we come here to basically buy everything for our boutique you could shop online and stuff like that too but this is just like the best place to come because you can like touch and feel all the clothes and the vendors have all the samples so i'm going to take you through and show you guys how we kind of go through each booth and give you behind the scenes when you go to the las vegas market it's in the las vegas convention center this place is legitimately huge um there's a few shows that are going on there which include off price that's like um you kind of have to rack dig for that there's a lot of just like older older styles in there i didn't go there this time i found a few things here and there um, in the past but I didn't even go there this time because I really needed to focus my time on the um, trendy vendors that we usually buy from and then there's also a show called project that is a little bit more higher end so if you have like a really high-end boutique and sell um, you know brands that usually retail for over a hundred dollars per piece that's probably where you're gonna want to go um, is the project which is basically just a whole other um, can it's in a whole other part of the convention center. And then there is a magic, which is where a lot of boutiques that if you follow me, a lot of boutiques that are similar to us go to, to buy their products just because they have, um, the most like relevant vendors for us that, um, have wholesale price points that we could, um, price our things from anywhere from like 20 to $80, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so a lot of the trendier, um, fast fashion vendors are at magic. And so the, footage that you see is all of just magic I only went into magic it's just one humongous room with literally hundreds of vendors and it is so much fun you guys when you go to a market um, you're just gonna want to fly into whatever city it is at whatever dates the markets happen um, there's not an actual market um, in Las Vegas during like the regular times of the year at this point. I think they might be um, doing a new one soon. It's called like Las Vegas Apparel. And I don't know if that's gonna be like year round, but really, um, especially with Magic, you could only go there during this two specific times of year that they have it there. Um, so look up the dates, uh, plan your trip around the dates. Um, just depending on how much you wanna buy, you can go for all three days or you can just go for one day. Uh, it doesn't really matter. And you can just show up and leave whenever you kind of want to. If you are a first time, a buyer uh, just know that you do have certain requirements that you do have to show to get into magic so or like any trade show really so just know that you are going to need like your business license and a wholesale uh, license and then um, you could just go on like magic's website or you know if you're going to Dallas you can go to Dallas's website and it'll tell you the credentials you need to get in um, and you could call them too they're really nice and they can just like walk you through exactly what you need to be sure that you can register for the show um, and then once you get there you have to kind of sign in um, make sure you're registered to get your badge um, they are doing badges on the phones a lot but they used to do like a thing around your neck so it just kind of varies with 
between like the different markets you go to what they like to do so now let's just talk about how uh, market works whether you're in Vegas or Dallas or Atlanta there are a few of these markets like all around the country um, most of your vendors are going to be based out of Los Angeles a lot of product is made overseas so it's really easy for them to be located in Los Angeles so that they can get the um, cargo shipments in um, and then you can go to downtown LA essentially anytime and they have um, little stores kind of set up like it almost like looks like a retail store but you can only buy wholesale and you could just like go to your favorite brand stores it's really really cool um, I do like going to LA um, I don't know I like LA just as much as I like any other market I like it all but um, it's just kind of like personal preference um, but anyways I'll get into LA and the Las Vegas uh, fashion district another time I just want to let you guys know that a lot of the vendors not all of them but most of them are in downtown Los Angeles um, and then they go and they set up at these shows so what they'll do is you go into a booth um, and you kind of go through the entire booth so let's just say I am at um, high five that's one of my absolute favorite vendors I spend a lot of time and a lot of money at high five um, they have a really great price point really fashionable items and also really comfortable I think their quality is really great let's just say I go into high five and they have literally this humongous booth and it is set up with literally like one of each sample like a sample of like every single style they have so let's just say they're making like 2,000 styles are gonna be launching for the spring and summer um, and they will have just one sample and typically it's a size small um, one size small sample of each so you kind of go around the booth and um, I like to just pick the things that I want to bring into the store the things that like catch my eye have good price points all that so I go through the booth I look at things like quality I look at the price because that is really important to make sure that like you are getting good a good enough margin on the products that you are buying for your store um, so I look at like what can I sell that product for and am I gonna have a big enough margin with this um, and so if it's something that I think is really cute and unique it looks like it has a good fit to it um, and it has a good price point and then you have to also look at the date too um, so sometimes the booths are set up in different dates sometimes they're kind of all over the place um, they'll usually like have a little sticker on each tag um, or it'll have a date on the tag or sometimes they um, organize the booth by dates so what I mean by dates is like they might there might be some things that are immediate which basically means that they're in stock and they can like ship you the things tomorrow so keep in mind you're not taking these things home you're placing orders and then they're gonna ship them to you um, they'll also have like for example I went in February so they had like immediates um, they had things that were coming end of February um, they had things March April May June July sometimes uh, some were even all the way up into the fall months um, I was primarily buying like for immediate right now um, so I placed a lot for immediates all the way through like May um, and so you kind of want to go through the whole booth pick all of the things that you like and as you're picking you there's customer racks so you go ahead and you put um, your pieces on uh, your rack and then nobody else is like really allowed to like touch your rack and if they do that's like the number one thing at market do not touch people's racks you guys um, because it's just kind of rude and like once you go through the whole like thing especially if you are like buying a lot of different styles and you go through and you realize someone like took things off your rack, your rack oh my god it makes me so angry um, because then I'm like I don't remember like everything that I pulled um, so anyways you make yourself like a rack that can literally be one two pieces some people have minimums a lot of vendors these days especially the ones that I work with only have a minimum of one style one pack which would mean like basically six pieces um, which could be as cheap as like you know like 60 bucks if each piece costs like ten dollars um because a pack is too small to medium and too large typically but that does vary as well so once you've gone through the whole booth you have your rack you go ahead and you look at all the styles that you picked you kind of make your final selections make sure you didn't pick too many of the same items that look uh, similar um, and you can go ahead and the they will start scanning the items in and placing the order for you so anything that's immediate will come um, will ship to you immediately anything that's uh, available in March will ship then um, sometimes the dates are a little bit wonky things don't don't go as planned sometimes so just keep that in mind too um, but anyways they then they place the order for you and then you can go on to the next booth you just leave your items there they'll put everything back for you um, so yeah so then you go ahead into your next booth
We like to stay on the strip in Vegas, so we actually tend to stay at the Link Hotel, um, which is right next to Harrah's. The Link is really affordable to stay, and it's also like fun downstairs if you want to like gamble at night. Um, and also, it is clean, in my opinion. I think it's clean enough to stay there, so that's probably where we stay a lot. Um, but you can just make like the experience in Vegas like anything that you want it to be, because you can like really make it like a vacation and like stay a few other days and like go to the pool especially like in the summertime um, and gamble if that's your thing um, honestly gambling and like going out isn't really my thing so when I go to Vegas I kind of just try and get in and out of there um, as fast as I can so I fly into the Las Vegas Airport we take an uber to our hotel and then we usually stay at magic for two two to three days um, just depending on the timing and then um, basically the whole time we're there we go to market um, usually I think it's from like 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and the last day is from 9 to 4 I believe that's usually how it is and then afterwards we usually grab dinner and I mean there's been a few times that I did go out but I didn't do it this time um, we just kind of went to dinner and then like relax in our room all right, so my camera died clearly because this is a worse quality, but I was just about done talking, so I'm just going to end the video here anyways. Um, so let me know if you guys have any questions. I will definitely do a more in-depth vlog next time I go to market, um, as long as I have a little bit more time that time. And um, in the meantime, let me know if you have any questions about going to market or different markets. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you did, and I will see you guys next week.